Welcome everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn how to do central venous catheterization. Uh, central venous catheterization normally we will do at three places. Commonly internal jugular, subclavian and femoral vein. Today we are going to learn how to do subclavian central venous catheterization. Well, first you have to clean the total area from the neck to the shoulder. We clean with the betadine solution. Now we are going to use spirit. Now we are cleaning with the spirit. Again from center to periphery. Okay. Now these are the instruments requiring for the subclavian. Uh, central venous catheterization uh, the introducer needle these y shape introducer needle then the guide wire and this is the dilator and this is the central venous catheter so while doing uh, subclavian central venous catheterization you need to uh, see for some landmarks so that you can do it properly. The first landmark should be the suprasternal notch. This is the suprasternal notch and this is the clavicle. Always you should put your introduction needle from the midpoint between the lateral one third and middle one third. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to inject a local anesthesia. Don't inject deeply because there is always chance of pneumothorax. While doing the subclavian, always palpate the clavicle and just 1 to 1.5 cm below the clavicle, you should put your uh, introducer needle in the direction of suprasternal notch. Don't go be deeply just maintain some 30 to 40 degrees of angle because if you go deeply you may puncture the pleura so that pneumothorax can occur so always this is the clavicle just going one centimeter below the clavicle Okay, we are in subclavian now. Now we are introducing the guide wire. Okay. Now you should remove you will introduce your needle and keep the guide wire inside. Now we are dilating the chart. Chart, chart. While well, dilating, keep one thing that always, always hold the tip of the guide wire and just dilate by rotating motion. Now we dilated and keep pressure at the entry point and remove the guide wire and keep the sorry. 
remove the dilator and keep the guide wire. Now we are introducing our catheter. Short there. Right. So one of our port uh, we got guide wire. Always hold this uh, guide wire, then introduce your catheter. Now you should flash every port of the central venous catheter. See this? There is a free flow. Okay. Okay. We are stitching the port. Yes. Perfect. Yes, it's up. Does this expect to bring some iron on it? I got it. Now we are putting some antibiotic, some antibiotic ointment to prevent local infection. Just put it on the at port side and at the stitching side also. Now we are sealing this.
we're done with the uh, subclavian central venous catheterization. Some points always you should keep in mind uh, while doing the subclavian central venous catheterization or any central venous catheterization that uh, while doing uh, especially subclavian there is always a chance of pneumothorax. So never when you are introducing the your introducer needle never go deep into the tissues or maybe in the subcutaneous tissue because always there is a chance of pneumothorax and always uh, go in a direction of suprasternal notch so that you will get uh, subclavian vein easily and uh, while uh, while doing subclavian central venous catheterization after putting your catheter you should flush all the three ports of the catheter because there is always a chance of air embolism also uh, and another thing is while doing uh, central venous catheterization while putting the central venous catheter in the subclavian some clinicians they use that to prick the skin or some clinicians they use introduce a needle also to prick so that it easily facilitate the catheter into the vein uh, but I didn't use it because I used the dilator so it dilate the veins very well so that my catheter went uh, into the vein normally uh, while doing the dilatation always prefer go in a, this rotation movements and uh, another uh, sites while for doing the central venous catheterization are uh, the femoral vein and internal jugular vein in the next video we will learn about uh, femoral vein catheterization and internal jugular vein, vein catheterization thank you everyone